Hi, you 11. Uh, so today we're going to look at the last ghost that visits Scrooge, which is the ghost of yet to come, or as some would call the ghost, the ghost of future. This ghost appears in stage four and is the last of the spirits. His entrance into Scrooge's bedroom is described by Dickens as slowly, gravely, silently. Instantly, Scrooge bent down upon his knee, showing not only his respect for the ghost and what the ghost is about to tell him, but also his fear. And at this point, Scrooge is showing that he sees himself as inferior. The ghost does not speak to Scrooge and only communicates through pointing. It is wearing a shrouded, deep black garment, reminiscent of the Grim Reaper. Scrooge's legs immediately tremble beneath him. And at this point, it can be argued that Scrooge is a changed man. He tells the ghost, I fear you more than any spectre I have seen. But he also admits that he knows his purpose and he finally labels time as precious. The ghost leads Scrooge to five visions. The first is in the city of London at the Stock Exchange. Here Scrooge overhears colleagues in his business world discussing death and a funeral. They mock the deceased about how cheap and empty his funeral will be. Scrooge is then taken to some thieves who are bragging about their steals and spoils from a dead man. The third vision is a couple who are relieved that the person they owe money to has now died. And then we go to the Cratchit's house, who are in mourning following the death of their beloved Tim. Finally, the ghost takes Scrooge to a grave, where it soon becomes clear who the dead man being shown in the visions is. Scrooge. This ghost personifies death, and therefore Scrooge shows Scrooge the importance of life. The ghost is clearly an archetype of the Grim Reaper, and it's the ghost who brings the most fear to Scrooge. The stave is the final time we see the old Scrooge, and as the ghost leaves, he states, I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present and the future, suggesting that all three ghosts have taught Scrooge a valuable lesson in their own right. This can be considered as Scrooge's epiphany, the moment of realisation that he needed.